Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So from the theme that we've been talking about, you could see that uh, skills development is one of the best um, career direction that uh, one would uh, would get involved in because of the results. You're going to be trained to do a specific skill or a specific specialization that you feel is worthwhile doing something that you like most in, uh, in most cases. And at the end of the day, you're going to get the results. You'll have the skill and then you could get into the industry whilst you're doing your internship. Then from there, you, I mean, you, you get a job. But if you take a closer look at many people that have um, gathered degrees from universities or uh, just uh, other co colleges with the traditional system, um, they'll end up probably not having the experience. And at the end of the day, they uh, don't get to get the job that they had gone to school for. So this is just some of the consequences. Uh, you know, oftentimes a lot of people ask, but always looked at uh, people and laughed because they don't understand the whole thing that made me acquire all those kind of qualifications. Usually, if you look at people with different qualifications, in most cases, higher degrees, postgraduate qualifications, diplomas, etc. Trust me, they didn't do it for fun because I'm living that experience. I didn't do that for fun. So you're going to do a qualification that you you never intended to do, um, 100%. But you did it because you were encouraged by other people, you were guided by other people to do the kind of a course. Or probably that was the only thing that was available at the time that you were enrolling into the university. So you ended up doing that course, or it was the best of what you decided to choose at that particular time. Then end result, is that you, yes, you're qualified, you're a graduate from university, but probably it's not the, uh, it's not your thing that much. Then you happen to, or you're not so excited about it. This is one of the reasons why, hello. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why traditional education system is quite complicated. Because you end up, doing something and at the end of the day when you're done with that then you just uh, realize that uh, it wasn't the thing that um, I'm actually into um, I would take myself for example I'm too much into art I love art I love some sort of uh, uh, physical and technical work this is the kind of things that I love doing and I did art in high school I did uh, some technical subjects as well I know a lot about metal work and technical drawing so those kind of subjects, those are things that I love. But I ended up doing something else that I'm not going to mention. Uh, and then after you graduate, then you get involved into uh, other university programs that probably could propel you to a different uh, career or a different uh, uh, whole uh, ball game at the end of the day. So after you finish that, then probably you discover that you, you can't get a job in that particular uh, specialization that you did afterwards. So you decide to venture into another course. You do another university course and you get another degree again uh, in order for you to achieve something that you're looking forward to. Then end result, by the time you realize that this is what you're doing, you've acquired as many qualifications that you never needed in the first place and you've wasted so much money.